So this question is a question that is asked a lot and people ask it in different ways so like why I never just find a Jamaican guy why I never just choose a black guy a regular black guy all right guys welcome back to our channel and we are here again celebrating our 10k victory lap and we are just so ow, 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 ow. my head is bouncing yeah. we're so happy to have made it to 10k and hopefully we make it to another 10k just saying just saying anyways guys um today i got a package from one of our subs one of our subscribers um named nishka and she's also jamaican and it is funny how she sent this to me because it was based off of a video that we did and i said i only have one makeup brush so she contacted me via instagram and she said oh avreen um i saw your video you're saying you only have one makeup brush and then she sent me some pictures and she's like oh i'm going to buy you this um makeup brush set so i was like oh my god you have to send me a video of how to use them too because i don't really know how to <laughs> just know if you use my one brush <laughs> but i'm really thankful i really appreciate it Nishka and thanks really really I didn't expect that so thank you so much that was very nice of you I have nothing to add thank you <laughs> <laughs> yes the, the I, makeup brushes for maybe you. I can try them out on Suma's first <laughs> on, on this for you <laughs> anyways guys let's get into this question and answer video which we also placed in our community tab and we are just responding to the questions that you guys had for us which which I must say there were some interesting and really good questions right yeah so the last time we hosted the Q&A the questions were uh, very different this time they're much more I don't want to say sophisticated but they're like whoa like where did you guys come up with these questions but they're really good so I agree I agree we'll try to address every single one of them we don't want to we don't want to make you feel like we're leaving you behind mm -hmm. it's not because we don't like you it's because we tried to take care of everything yes um, so without any further ado let's, let's get into the video and go. also before so, we do make sure you like make sure you share make sure you give a subscribe hit that notification bell button and join us on our journey and also i noticed that we don't have a name for our subscribers like i just say you guys and it is not inclusive of girls so should we should we have a name for you guys and if you want to be named leave it in the comment section right. what you think a good name would be for you guys i think a good one would be the squad our squad I can't believe it. <laughs> squad? Squad. Squad. Yeah. You know in Jamaica squad squaddy? Squaddy? Yeah. No. A police officer. I see. Oh. Yeah. Anyways. Okay, so maybe not a squad. Then. Anyways, I'm, let's get into the video. What else? I have, I'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself. You guys leave it in the comments. Also, if you have not watched our first QA video, make sure you do so. I'm gonna put it like right there somewhere. As soon as you're messing with the puff, mom tail. I'm, I'm sorry about the puff. Fix puff. it back, fix it like just, yeah. Good, good, good. Alright, let's go. Give me a kiss. You, say, you have to say beg me a kiss. No, you can't say beg. Anyways, <laughs> let's get into the QA, guys. Pedermans, Klausmans. First question. Wow, look at you bringing it back. Okay, if you guys didn't know, that means first question. Anyway, um, when are you guys planning to have kids? Why you choose that one first? Because that's the first one I saw. Uh, um, this is the question for you. You're the sperm donor. So you guys. You're the sperm donor. Um, we're not ready to have kids at the moment. Right. What he said. The thing is, um, <sighs> a lot of things have to fall in place. Right. right. We have to do uh, so many things. I have to finish school. He has to finish school. We have to move. We have to move. Right. Um, we might move like further than we had planned. Like a lot of things have to line up before we can think about having kids. Right. So that's going to be on hold for at least a little bit. Yes. You guys will definitely know if and when that changes yeah we do plan to though right. it's not like out of our plans we right. do it's definitely just, plan it's to gonna have to be put on hold for a little bit that's all right all right second question um oh 
Someone said they love our channel, and the question is for you. Mm -hmm. What is the most beautiful thing he did for you? Go ahead, look, Bob is so. <laughs> Why are you looking at? I'm, I'm waiting to hear the most beautiful thing I did for you. I don't know if there is just one, but if I should have to pick just one, it is probably when Simis completely took me to San Diego and surprised me with a concert of my one of my favorite artists yeah i did not expect it. it was a complete surprise and i was like talking about her for like months and listening to her music and yeah so i didn't even think about that i was i remember when i tricked well i didn't trick you because we went to california and then i'm like oh san diego oh concert oh we're so close like yeah. yo we gotta do this so we went and we had a great time it was a lot of fun, yeah. Yeah. I really like that girl. If you can check her out, her name is Karen Bailey Ray. And she is just peaceful, calm, you know, gentle, everything. So, just so you guys know, if Irina's feeling like kind of anxious or upset, you put her on and then anxiety goes away. It's like... <laughs> and I do have anxiety. I have really bad anxiety. Ever since I moved from Jamaica, and started living here when i saw my doctor last he said it's like social anxiety or something like that but yeah anyways that's too much that has nothing to do with the question you want to sing it a little bit no all right uh next question please <laughs> all right next um someone else that says they love our channel and they said would you ever consider moving out of the new york new jersey area and live in other u.s states go ahead actually for the first part of our relationship when we used to go to Miami often, we thought about living in Miami before, especially every winter, I think about living in Miami. <laughs> but other than that, we go to New Jersey often. Um, That's out of New York, New Jersey. Oh yes, okay, so the <laughs> so tri-state, yeah. so Connecticut, the code either. Connecticut, not code either. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. What do you think? For me, is a definite no. Um, when, yeah. when we're talking about the U.S., if like I always said, because my goal was to move to New York to get a good job and like do stuff here and reach new heights and everything. You know what I mean? What? I think that Sumas has this big dream of just being in New York and hustling and bustling and that's making it, that's making I'm, it in New York that's and what I'm doing. just. Yeah, I feel like if he's not in New York, he doesn't feel like he's in the United States. Exactly. So we traveled enough, right? I'm not, it's not like I've only been to New York. We've been to various parts of the country together, like Florida, Louisiana, Texas, California, um, like Pennsylvania, DC, Boston, like Maine, like all these different states that we've been to. Mm -hmm. I do not want to move out of New York because I feel like life is so different in the rest of the US as opposed to other countries mm -hmm. that's another question for another day the thing is if we were to pick another state completely it would be california right because that's where we like the most that we've been to mm -hmm. so yeah if any other state it would be california right and we've only been to like la san diego in the desert so yeah we haven't seen that much of california but from what we did see it's actually very nice yeah are you planning on getting a mortgage to buy your own house oh that there's gonna be another question from the same person, so. Mm -hmm. All right, so mortgage to buy our own house. Definitely, we've looked into it. This and like actually, we were doing topic. that yeah, yesterday. This is like right now, we're doing this. We were doing that yesterday. And um, we did it before. There is so much that goes into a mortgage, and we are still very young and we're just learning. Mm -hmm. And we want to learn as much as possible before we make such a huge commitment, which is why we are planning to move and rent somewhere else. Yes, I know that renting is not fun. For no, now. it's only temporary. Renting is not the best option because it's like literally putting your money in a toilet and flushing it. That's how I feel about renting. But eventually, yes. And especially like when I start working, we'll definitely be thinking about that more. Right. Because now we're surviving off CMS's income. Right. Which is great. But <laughs> no, let me stop. <laughs> Wow. Yes. The truth comes out of the bag. I mean, no, I meant like it's it's great that we're able to survive just off uh, of one income. We get what I say, guys? Alright. Anyways, what do you think about that, Mr. Urbanovichis? I think it's great that we're surviving off of my income. I mean it's great that we're able to survive off my income. But no. Nah. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> 
Um, yeah, we are definitely going to be buying. Um, there's some, there's a lot of uncertainties right now, like we mentioned earlier in life that we need to get out of the way before we can make that kind of commitment. Right. So with renting, like you sign a lease for a year and then after a year you can always get out of it, right? Or you can figure out something to move on with your life. Like when you buy something, you're putting a lot of- Permanently locked into that. Right. Until you're able to sell off. Right, exactly. So there's, we don't have that kind of security at the moment for us to take that next step. Yes. But we are, as I said, very young and eventually we will. Okay. Same person says, when are you planning to visit Jamaica and Lithuania? So we actually made a whole video about when we're going to Jamaica. Um, most likely it will be next year. Lithuania, as for, for that matter, you take it away. Why? Because it's, it's your country. <laughs> All right. So we always said, um, because like, it always comes back to the same issue. School, time, money, this and that, right? So yes. we need all the money and time in the world to make this kind of stuff happen. Um, right now, we're just too swamped with stuff, right? So we said when we're able to go, winter is going to be Jamaica, summer is going to be Lithuania, not vice versa. Clearly, <laughs> because in winter in Lithuania, it's like sub-zero and nobody's trying to go live like the Eskimo kind of life, you know? It's not Eskimo, it's like here, kind of. I heard it's worse, and I heard it's like wet and like... Yeah, yeah. no, winter's are Brutal. Like um, question for both of you guys. If it came down to a situation when one partner had to go back to their home country on a permanent or semi-permanent basis, how would you make it work? Actually, we thought about this, right? Mm -hmm. So good. Well, let's hear your perspective first. First of all, if Simas are going to go to. How great it is to survive off his income. First of all, if Simas are going to go to. No, if Simas is going, I'm going. Um, I, I would have to completely make sure that school is done for me and everything. But if right. it is not, and Simas just had to go back, or had, I had to go back, I would have to finish school first. Mm -hmm. If Simas had to go back. Especially since you're so close now. Right, to, to right. The if Simas had to go back, school would be a priority for me over just us being together because with me finishing my education and then going to be with Simas, we have better chances of A, paying rent, mm -hmm. pay, buying a house, taking care of kids if we do have them. Um, and also, a lot of people think that I want to have kids right now. Whenever I say that, it's just a joke because I think it's just so funny to say, oh, uh, this is for the kids, that's for the kids. I think it's so funny. So I'm not completely serious that I want to have kids, no. Anyways, yes, yeah, so we would we would make it work, I think. What do you miss most, if anything, about your countries? You go first. Oh, the people, definitely. Yeah, um, yeah I, I have my mom's side of the family, are, mo well, most of them are there. Um, we left a while ago, and sometimes they come to visit us here. Yeah. Um, no matter what, like where we go and where we are, like we try to communicate with each other as much as we can. The only family I have in this country is my parents, right? So my mom's side of the family is in Lithuania, my father. Actually, I want to. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. I do have. I do have. Aunt and cousins. Right. And little cousins. That have kids, right? So they're actually nearby, but that's. That relationship we're, we're developing right it's now. It's under construction. <laughs> we're, we're developing that relationship, but it's I think it's going in the right direction. Um, but anyway, the close family that we that I've grown up with, everybody is back in Lithuania. Like my grandma, my mom's sister, her kids, my dad's sister, and my dad's brother and their kids are all in Sweden. So you can't like you can go on like WhatsApp or Skype and talk to them, but it doesn't. It's not the same. Thing, right. Yeah. That's that's number one for me. Yeah. What about you? Probably would be my family too, and also the food. <laughs> I miss my little cousin Denver. Oh my god, I love that little guy so much because I held him when he was a baby, and he spent most of his weekends at our house. So it was like hard to let go and you know move on. But also my dad is in Jamaica. My aunts everybody like most like he said only m me my mom and my sister live here so the family mm -hmm. and also the food jamaican food is unequivocally the best 
Um, next. Have I served in the Lithuanian military or my father? So I have not served in the Lithuanian military. I came to the US when I was 12 years old um, and I have not spent my teenage years in Lithuania so I was not conscripted. There is no mandatory service, I think. If there was, I'm too late for it, but uh, my father did serve in the, in the military, but Lithuania was occupied by the Soviet um, Union at the time. So my father was, it, there was mandatory two years of service. Uh, so my father was sent to Moscow and it was probably the biggest two years of hell in his life that I'm not gonna go any further into, right. but he had no choice. It was either that or what some people did was they committed suicide or ran away or, you know, it was horrible. So. Yeah. He survived though. So he didn't serve in the Lithuanian army, he served in the Soviet He's, army. He served in the army of the people that occupied us. Yes. Basically. Yeah, foreign army. Okay. Yeah, so... Kada ir kaip jūs susitikote ar buvo meida iš pirmą žvigsną? What that means is when and how did you meet and did, was it love at first sight? <laughs> so how we met, we already have a video, you yes. guys can check it out. Um, we met online. Right. Was it love at first sight? I don't think so. No, it was... Yeah, we're more realistic than that. <laughs> it's like, Sorry. oh my god, I like, I like that. No, I, when I saw her online, I was like, yes, this is the one I want. This is the one for me, right? But is that love? Not really. It's just I thought somebody that looks really good and then... It was attraction at first sight. How about that? How about that? Yeah, we were attracted to each other. All right. Um, how is it being married so young? Do you ever feel like maybe you should have waited a little longer? Mm. Again, another video we did. Yeah. Right? About why we. Well, how, what's it like to be married young? But what do you think about the question? Mar being married young is not like what people, I guess, would think it is. It's not a hard thing. It's like we were together for two years before we got married. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like once we get married, things change, blah, blah, blah. No, everything remained the same. We were always committed to each other. We always loved each other. We still do. And we lived together before. So it wasn't anything, you know. If anything, the different. relationship got stronger. Right, right. Between us and, and between our, our parents, families. Yeah. Right. So we definitely got. I think we improved. Like, it strengthened us even more. And then we feel like an even stronger bond with each other. Yeah. Um, but it's not really. Like, you just have to know that this is somebody that you want to be with. And at the end of the day, it's like a piece of paper that binds you together. Yeah. Officially, but in reality, it's like, it's all about what's behind that piece of paper, right? This question is a question that is asked a lot. And people ask it in different ways. So like, why never just find a Jamaican guy? Why never just choose a black guy, regular black guy? Um, I actually did. When I just moved to this country, the first person I dated was a Jamaican guy from Kingston. Then I dated a Trinidadian guy and then the relationships never work out. And my sister actually started doing online dating and she started um, talking to people from different races. And she's like, oh, why don't you try um, talking to someone from a different race? Maybe that will, maybe it will be different. And then, so Simus is pretty much a product of an experiment gone good, and... <laughs> yeah, first time I called her, her sister was on the background. Like, <laughs> like, right, like sitting there, like, doing her hair or something. I'm like, who is that in the background? <laughs> like, why is she there? And you're like, is she gonna move? <laughs> right, like, she's just sat there the whole time. But yeah. anyway. Yeah, so... So you just sister's the trailblazer. She's the one that set the path. She's the one that set the path for me to choose another a person from another race so big up Shana. so yeah it wasn't a thing where i preferred to have a white guy or or something like that you know i'm jamaican we don't care about things like that some of us do obviously we can't speak for everybody but it was just seeing what else could work yeah. and does your sister have a youtube channel actually no she does not but i think she is thinking of getting one but she doesn't for the moment I will let her know. Do you guys think you should have a YouTube channel? Right. Leave it in the comments. That's it. Oh, that's it! Alright, so that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hope we answered all your questions. And that's it for today and we'll see you in the next vlog. Make sure you like, leave a comment, and subscribe.
And turn on your notifications so you and, don't know what other things are. Right, and let us know what you guys think. Whatever suggestions you have, please let us know. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our next video. Right.